Boys and girls, this lesson introduces you to the color wheel and also we're going to learn about the primary colors, the secondary colors, and the tertiary colors and how to create tints and shades for your art project. So I'm just going to put this color wheel to the side. This one's going to be up on the board for us to reference. And you're going to get your paper. Always remember, write your name on the back. But write your name on the back this time after you've drawn your, your star. Now the colour wheel, we're going to create a six uh, pointed shape, that's why we're using the star rather than a circle this time. How you're going to do that is using a ruler, you're going to draw a line, so like one third of the way down, just like that. So and I'm going to look and I just went across like seven inches and I'm just going to put a little mark there in the very middle. and bring my ruler down, I'm just going to put a little mark where that middle was, just there. So now I've got kind of the centre and I'm going to join it there and join it there. Now I've made a triangle. Okay, next I'm going to do another triangle so we're overlapping. So I'm going to put another triangle across and I've got this little mark here, I'm just going to go up to the top there, I'm just guessing roughly where it is, but here we are, I'm going to go like that and I'm going to go like that. Now remember that we are now going to use the points of the star to be the colours from the colour wheel. So if we go yellow, we miss one and we put the next primary colour red. I'm just going to do this very lightly in pencil and I would suggest that you do the same so you don't get confused. Miss a point and then the next one is blue. So I've got Y, R, B, red, yellow, blue. So now I look and I go yellow and red would make orange. I put no in. R and B, red and blue would make purple. And B and Y, yellow and blue would make green. So now I have a perfect circle or sequence of the colours. Now randomly what we're going to do is we're just going to divide our page up using a ruler and these sections are going to contain new colours that you create. So what you're going to do is you're going to experiment with colour mixing so that you make tints. So if you've created a colour you can add white to it and when you add white to it you're making it lighter in colour which is called a tint. You've got black on your table so if you add a little bit of black to a colour you're making a shade. So you're making that colour darker. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our colour wheel and then we're going to hide it in among this abstract design. And there we are. So very first thing, colour wheel first. So I'll do my red, my yellow and my blue. So I'm going to do that there. Now because the letters will show through you'll either have to erase them or give your painting a secondary coat to cover it, okay? I'm going to do the same with the red and then with the blue. And when I've got my primary colours in place, then I'll decide whether I want to add any more primary colours into the abstract design around it or I want to start mixing. You're all going to receive a palette. So when you start mixing, remember that you need to use the palette, wash your brush before you dip it into a new colour. So I'm going to put that there. You only need a little bit of red, but I'll show you here how strong the red is. And you can see, now I can create a nice orange. Now if I want to, if I want to make that lighter, I'd, I'd add white. And you're going to get these little cups with white and these little cups with black in it. And you're going to continue that until your whole painting is completely filled. And I'm going to continue this one so that you can see when it's completely finished. Okay boys and girls, now it's your turn. Let's go make some art. <laughs> 